Here we go, the sixth country that will be my first country for living abroad, Australia. So in the end of 2012, I got the working holiday visa to Australia. So I just went to Australia by myself. Um, actually, one day before my flight, I was really sick. Uh, my younger sister accompanied me to the emergency department and the next day I still feel weak and I was laying on my bed and my mom told me oh if you don't feel well um, you don't have to go but finally I made a decision that uh, I'm still going so I still remember that on the aircraft I was vomiting <laughs> all the time it's a budget airline Air Asia and then I, I feel really sorry because I gave the food air sick back to the cabin crew <laughs> and but I feel really really that was the right decision for going to Australia because I really enjoyed my life in Australia um, but before I arrived I already found myself a, a, a solution for accommodation like I found myself to be an au pair so I don't have to pay for any accommodation <laughs> it was my very first time all pair experience <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I still remember the family got four kids and every morning you know I have to wake them up prepare for their uh, lunchbox and do the girls hair and and send the youngest one to the daycare and then yeah, it was really funny because uh, there are a lot of uh, things I've never done before. And I was with the family only for one week and after that I moved out in a share house. And, but when I arrived at the share house, I haven't found any job yet. So I told the uh, landlord that uh, to allow me to sleep uh, in the living room, which is a couch. And I even introduced him for couch surfing because I want to, you know, just just couch surf at his place. And I still remember I, I told the landlord that you can't charge me at the moment because I don't have any job yet. <laughs> but luckily, I just found a job like very soon uh, through a job agent called uh, uh, At Work in in Perth. So and then I got like three months job contract in the second largest city in Western Australia called Bunbury. So I worked in a, a farmer's market as a bulk food uh, stuff, you know, just helping for the food, like shop presentation, answering customers' um, inquiry, uh, review for the till and so on. Now I was staying in a share house and the, the landlord is a local and other flatmates were, were all from Hong Kong you know they were doing the same working holiday and after three months of working uh, uh, in Bambury I just decided to travel <laughs> so and after that I went to Vanuatu and New Zealand and Fiji and then I returned back to Hong Kong to visit my family and after that I continued back to Australia so when I came back to Australia again, I haven't found any accommodation yet. But after landed, the next day I found myself another job in Midland as a cashier in the supermarket. And so for one month, I lived in a hostel. I still remember the hostel is very close to the gate, so every night it was really don't start, very noisy, but still I fall asleep. So one month later, I found a, 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 a accommodation in uh, CBD Perth, Murray Street. And then also I moved to another place for work because the previous one is just a temporary job. And then I found a job in uh, Fremantle, um, worked in Peaches Fishery Market as a cashier. I really, really enjoyed because that, that was one of my uh, most enjoyable uh, working experience because I love my colleagues, you know, my manager, uh, they were super, super funny and they were Italian and I'm, I'm British and uh, they're just lovely people, adorable. I really miss them. And um, uh, so during my time in Australia, uh, 
most of the time I was just working hard because at that time I have the idea that I want to save the money for traveling in Europe, so I really work hard. You know, there's a there's a, a time in Australia I was always running. Why? Because during the day I work in Fremantle, but myself live in Perth, which is like one hour、uh, train, one hour、uh, distance by train. And after that,、uh, I got another job, which is just like a,、uh, replace my friend for for a bit while. So、um, in Kings Park in Perth,、uh, as a kitchen hand. And so, every day when I finished the freelance job, I was just running, running, running to go to the the Perth Kings Park for work. And then, yeah, every day I was running, running, running because I I was just so much want to save a little bit more to、uh, support myself in the ongoing Euro trip. And then before I left Australia, I received my Euro Pass ticket, the train pass. And and also I I I've experienced uh, uh, some local culture. You know, I'm I still remember uh, uh, during the Australian day I get to see the you know the royal show, the fun fair, the fireworks, and and one thing I really would like to say something about Australia because、uh, in my life、um, there are like. One of the lady every day almost until now I'm thank her, and her name is Rhonda Vine, and I read her book like、uh, before I went to Australia, so I still got、uh, inspiration from her book that that since I lived in Australia, every day I tried to write down、uh, the small little things in my life that I feel appreciate. In the beginning, I feel it's a little bit、um, challenge because I feel there's nothing to write down. But、uh, I insist to doing this, and then until now, I'm I'm I have been doing this for、uh, nine years. So in the beginning, every day I I wrote down ten or twenty little things that I feel appreciate. Then after that, during my traveling every day, I write something. Because、uh, in the end of the day, after I wrote down this, I call it、uh, appreciate appreciation diary, and then、mm, I will just feel much much better. And especially this year, every day I I, I wrote down more than one hundred little things that can be divided in in the past, happening now and in the future. All the little things I appreciate, so which made myself a, a very good vibration. And so that explains all how I can travel in this much countries and uh, without uh, nothing bad happen because、uh, it's all about like、uh, how grateful I feel about life and、uh, how appreciate、uh, every little help from all the different people from other country they give to me. I truly appreciate. So the more I appreciate, the more I will receive, and、um, that that's the law of attraction, and、uh, that's one of my faiths. And during my time in Australia, actually, I was just working hard, and、uh, and meanwhile, just being like, a,、um, just learning the local culture. I had a wonderful Christmas with the、uh, my my、uh, colleagues from Bunbury's. Family, yeah. The the Aussie Christmas it's lovely because it's like so sunshine and after Christmas uh, uh, gathering food and then you just go to the beach and it's really lovely. But also, I mean, I I don't I'm I'm not a big fan of、uh, Vegemite. Yeah, I noticed that's very healthy, but not my thing. And I would like to go back to Australia one day because、uh, I would like to see other part, you know, like the North part to get to know more about the Aboriginal people, and Tasmania, Melbourne, and so on. And、um, I would thank you so much, Australia, for all, all the things you offered to me, and and I learned from Australia about、uh, how to be chill to great people even you don't know each other.